And the Mech Commander comes in the night! Mech Commander 5. Operation Gorgon, Mission 2. Capture Ordnance Convoy. That's Ordnance, not Ordnance. This isn't Sim City 2000, you know. Objective the first, capture four of seven salvage rigs. Objective the second, capture six of seven salvage rigs. Secondary. Objective three, capture seven of seven salvage rigs. Secondary. Fire support, five small artillery, one large artillery. We haven't had any sensor probes or camera drones in any of these missions, have we? Oh well. Star Captain Marcus Osis. His friends call him Maxis. Of the Smoke Jaguars has executed a surprise raid on our main supply depot. He and his forces are fleeing north through Jade Sector with a large number of advanced weapon components. Our scouts have been through most of that area, so a majority of your tactical map will be revealed. However, none of the buildings in Jade Sector have been captured as of yet. Your strike force will be dropped into Jade Sector only minutes ahead of the enemy convoy. Capture as many of the salvage rigs as possible before they escape through the forest road in the northwest. Tactical warning. Star Captain Maxis is piloting his customized Massacre. It's Warhawk. Say it, Frenchie! Massacre. So be prepared for it to use the advanced weaponry the salvage rigs are transporting. Recon confirms that Novacat Omnimechs are among the forces guarding the convoy. Records indicate that these heavy class Omnimechs are specialized short range fighters. End of line. Okay, we're going to be facing the Novacat for the first time. Developed by Clan Novacat, obviously. Um, for some reason, the Smoke Jaguars have some. I don't remember the canon reason why, but they do. And it's got a uh, different weapons loadout than it does in the cannon. So, ironically, it has multiple cannons. Get it? Cannons? Auto cannons? Come on, man. Okay, let's take a look at our mission map. We have two drop zones here and here. We'll be at the top of this mountain. Most of the map will be revealed. This arrow, series of arrows, is where the convoy will be traveling. And this is their escape point. We do not want them to escape. There's a small base of explodables here. There's a small base with turrets here. And another slightly larger base with more turrets here. This location here, here, and here are bridges. You can destroy the bridges in order to force the convoy to take a more circuitous route and let's give you more time. However, we're not going to be worried about all of that because this mission is another one of those that is deceptively simple. It looks pretty scary, but we shouldn't have a problem. We're going to be facing a lot of heavy firepower and I'll show you the trick in a second. So, first let's go to our mech bay. We have some cool new stuff that we salvaged, like this Timberwolf and this Summoner. This Summoner is almost completely intact, and this Timberwolf is. Except for the sensors. But that's okay. Okay, so, we're gonna need some new pilots because we have heavy mechs and very few people who can use them. We're gonna leave Hitman here alone. I'm gonna take out that LRM and replace it with an SRM. Actually, let's replace it with a Streak SRM. We're gonna leave him in there with the railgun and the heavy LBX autocannon. Uh, Thunder, we're going to take the Long Tom out because I showed it to you already and don't really need to continue to show it to you. We're gonna stick... Well, let's... Let's take a look at our available mech warriors first. Because we're gonna need to purchase some. We've got quite a few... Available for purchase. Mantis reporting. Like Mantis? 
As ordered, sir. And this Dragon. Yes, sir. We're both veterans with good gunnery skill, which is important. And Blaze is also available. So let's stick them into Mantis reporting. our other clan mechs. This is Dragon. Yes, sir. There we go. So now that we've got them free, let's strip out everything in this Timberwolf. And we want to put in, let's see. We've got the LBX, the Ultra Auto Cannon. The thing of this mission is it's going to happen so fast we're not going to have time to do any rearming or repairing. So we can't bring along a repair truck. So we have to be a little bit stingier with our ammunition. So I'm going to use the LBX instead of the Ultra Auto Cannon because the Ultra Auto Cannon only carries 30 shots. The LBX carries 90 shots. Stick that in there. Also the railgun. And that should be more than enough firepower. Let's see, sensor basic, sensor basic. Yeah, let's do that. That'll work. Let's actually reporting as ordered, sir. put this Mantis is in here. Because yes, she has Mantis a higher as ordered, sir. gunnery rating. This is Dragon. Yes, sir. Strip everything out of here. We're going to be doing a lot of short-range combat in this mission. So... I want to use these rail guns that we picked up, though, to hit the targets when they first come into range. And you'll see that in a second once I get to the actual mission. So let's put in a light gauss rifle. Make sure we put sensors in. I've forgotten sensors before. Well, that's kind of stupid. Let's see. Put the ERPPC in there. We have. Uh, the Clan Heavy Ultra Auto Cannon only has 10 shots. That is not cool. We need something... Well, I still have... Clan LBX Auto Cannon. Let's stick that in there. What else could we put in? Heavy Flamers? There we go. That's a good mix of all-purpose weaponry. Now, we did take advantage of our mech repair bay's last mission in order to get all of our forces repaired, so that's definitely good. So we don't have to... Well, there's a little damage to Thunder. We don't have to spend a whole lot of resource points on that. That's good. We can use it for better purposes. Let's... 32 ammo. Okay. Oh, I can only fit one. Well, that's fine. Uh, heavy Flamer... Pulse laser, SRM, there we go, that looks pretty good for Thunder. So let's take a look at how much we have so far. Hitman, Thunder. Dragon and Mantis. Oh, that's a lot of tonnage already. Let's see, and if we put Baron in there, we still have 50 tons free. So let's see. Let's purchase some stuff while we're here. I do want to pick up a mine layer, because they tend to disappear. I want to make sure I have it, just in case I need it in a future mission. Not this one, though. You wouldn't want to lay mines on the stuff that you want to capture. It would explode. And exploding is a surefire way of not getting what you want. Let's see, we're going to pick up this Stiletto J. So we have something fast. We have 35 tons. Let's see. Who should we put? What should we put in that? And who should we put in it? Oh, we have a lot of pilots. Skater. Let's put Skater in there. I like Skater. I don't know why. His gunnery is atrocious. Let's see. Can I squeeze... Let's put an ER large laser in there so we have some kind of long range firepower. And. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. That's a good layout there. We can equip Skater here, and that should be our force. Let's take another look at Baron, though. Let's see. 
where where is he? Uh, Baron. He's pretty good at stuff. Uh, I think I'll take out that X pulse rifle though, or X pulse laser. Put in a heavy flamer. Like I said, we're gonna be doing a lot of short range combat in this mission. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I'll put in an LRMs. Yeah, you can fit two of them in there. Look at that. That's good. Oh, maybe I should put Scarab in there. Mm, no, Scarab will be fine where he is. Okay, so this is our force. And what we're going to do is this is where the convoy originates. So, instead of doing what the mission implies and capturing these turrets and such, we're going to take our big force and we're going to plow right down here. And we're going to intercept these enemy forces as they are spawning on the map. Because we don't want them to get all spawned together and gang up on us. So we're going to take them out as quickly as possible. And with some luck, we should have this mission wrapped up very quickly. And then I'm bringing Skater along because I need something fast. Because we're going to need to chase these convoy trucks all over the freaking map. Plus he's got jump jets that jump forever with the stiletto. And I'll get to show you the stiletto and how stupidly fast it is. Are you ready? Let's roll out. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors prepare for combat. 